Joining me here at Darlington Hereford, uh, Captain Jared Hodgkiss. How difficult a result is that to take today? Very tough, to be honest, Keith. Um, we've been on a good run the last four or five games, so that's a difficult one to take. Yeah, the lads are distraught in there, really, because they've played well. We've we played well today. Um, a little moment uh, lacks concentration for their goal, but overall, I think we're much a better team. For all the possession, you thought that goal's got to come, but it never came, did it? Exactly, yeah, and the gaff had some strong words for us after the game, which um, hit home a little bit, really. Um, we need to be more clinical in, in the final third. Because the ball was pinging across the penalty area, and we were all saying in the commentary box, somebody's going to gamble and get there at some stage, and it just didn't work out. Exactly that. That's what the gaffer said. Um, we need to gamble a bit more, and the quality needs to be a bit better in the final third as well. So. Um, no doubt we'll be working on that this week. You must have been pleased with the possession you've got though, as a team, to try and get back in the match. Yeah, that is the positive thing, but always when you've lost a game of football, you, you sort of dwell on the negatives for the first couple of hours after. Um, but yeah, we'll look at that come Monday. And personally, as a skipper, uh, your actual form out there as well, how do you gauge that at the moment? Not too bad. I think. It doesn't, doesn't matter what I, how I play, as long as the team wins. Um, so, the team didn't win today, and that's not good enough. FA Cup next week, let's look ahead to that. Uh, turn a spin on that, high-graded club, not expected to win. Underdogs, you know, should be able to come out and you know really have a go next week. Yeah, a little bit like a free hit, I suppose. Um, but, again, it's at home, so we expect to win the game. Um, so, we'll do everything this week to prepare properly and put on a good performance in front of our own fans and hopefully get the win and through to the next round. Uh, debut for goalkeeper today, Jordan Wright, on loan from Nottingham Forest. How did you feel he fared? Quite well. He didn't have much to do though, did he, Keith? To be honest, um, yeah, I don't think he could have done anything for, for the goal. Um, but what he did have to do, I thought he did quite well. So, yeah, but he was quite, it was quiet for him and their keeper got man of the match. I mean, yeah. That sums up the result really, doesn't it? When a home team give their man of the match award to their own goalkeeper. Exactly, you've summed it up there, Keith. So, um, a lot to think about, but um, we're moving in the right direction, I suppose. Um, a lot of possession, like you said, and some good performances out there. We just need to be a bit more ruthless. Goals are going to win your matches, and that's what you've got to somehow start doing. Of course, four goals in the league's not good enough. Um, I think we are creating chances, but like I just said, final third entries and the quality in the final third needs to improve. Do you feel sometimes there's a question of just getting that shot in and not really thinking too much about it? Because sometimes we're a little bit over elaborate maybe. Um, yeah, possibly. I don't know if we... Are we confident enough in front of the goal? Do we think we're going to score? I'm not sure. I'm not a, That's. I'm not paid to do that. <laughs> so you'll have to ask the, the, the attacking boys about that. But um, let's just hope we can score a couple in the next game. And it being the cup, that is exactly the time to turn it around. Exactly, yeah. Through to the next round, fingers crossed. Good performance into the next round. Thanks for your time. Thank you, cheers.